Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. So, um, welcome to the pep talk with Rebecca and May. Today, let us all in, uh, let us all be inspired to the story of our guest, a powerful house lady who is well loved by our community. You know, um, stay tuned and let us all learn how a mom who work multiple jobs transition to online world. I know a lot of you can relate to this. And now let us um, now she's enjoying the benefits of working online. So stay tuned and watch out. We are here to share the stories of success, faith, and resilience of individuals who have successfully transitioned to the world of the digital business. Watch, listen, and be inspired from the testimonials of the business owners on how they conquered the online space by helping people to start a business that changed their lives. This is Rebecca and May, working moms and digital entrepreneurs. We are here to share with you the boons of the digital business. So, come join us. Hello everyone, this is May coming to you live from Winnipeg. Once again, thank you for joining us tonight for another live chat. Um, just sit back, relax, and get ready to gain some more valuable insights from one of the most successful business leaders in our community. All right. Thank you, May. Thank you so much, everyone. So this is Rebecca. I am coming to you live from Toronto, a mom of three amazing boys. And you know what? I can really relate to our powerhouse guest today. So let me introduce her. Um, today, we are thrilled to have a very special guest on our show She's a powerful house, as I as I have mentioned earlier, juggling multiple roles with ease and grace. She's a mother, a successful businesswoman, a coach, and a nurse. Now she's here to share her inspiring story with us. Throughout her career, career she's broken barriers and overcome challenges to become a shining example of perseverance and determination. Her coaching skills have enabled her to inspire and guide individuals to achieve their goals. And as a successful business, best businesswoman, she's proven that with hard work, dedication, and faith, anything is possible. But above all, she's a devoted mother who has managed to balance her deter, uh, demanding career with the joys and responsibilities of raising a family. She's a true inspiration to women everywhere and showing us that we can have it all. A successful career, a loving family, and ability to make a positive impact in the world. I am blessed to work closely with her on one of our community projects. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming our guest, the amazing mom, businesswoman, coach, and a nurse who is sure to inspire us all with her incredible story, my saver sister, Coach Dina Oviso. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me today, and thanks for for being patient with me. Like I'm, I'm like you said, I am busy. I still am, and um, I was running late with my uh, mentoring session. But I'm very honored to be here today, and hoping to provide some value to inspire some some of you guys, some of you viewers, because um, if I can do it, you can too. So, yes. Yes. Thank you, Coach, for sharing us your time. Um, yeah, we know we are very busy, and this is really a gem, having another Aviso on our platform here. I hope everyone will be inspired. Um, so before we proceed with some i um, before we proceed with some icebreaker, let's first acknowledge our viewers. Um, we earlier we had May Andrada um, watching us uh, from California, I believe. And anyone else who's watching us right now or on a replay, please comment where you're tuning is tuning in from. And we're so glad to have you here, Rebecca. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Coach. Um, so we would like to breathe first. I know you are so busy. And um, we have this icebreaker before we go to the proper um, proper questions, you know. 
So um, here, what we what I am going to show is pictures. I got I grabbed it from your business page. We would love you to share the story behind that picture. Oh no! Anything? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's okay. start this. As a nurse coach, what's behind this picture? <laughs> so this was actually during the pandemic. Um, I was, as, as you know, I'm already, if you are, you guys are following my page, I'm actually working from home. I, I'm a clinical nurse informatician, so I help build electronic health record as a nurse. And so I actually have the honor and privilege of working from home every single day from Monday through Friday, eight to four. So I sit, this is my office right here, but I was actually called back due to the pandemic to work. <laughs> so <laughs> so this was it. Um, I strategically took this picture behind me as a background because, see, nurses are heroes without capes, definitely. But most importantly, you see hands right here, right? And so I, before I um, became um, a work-from-home nurse, this was actually my home unit, and this was part of my project. I was a project management um, uh, quality improvement was my um, my role. And so I was rolling out initiatives and one of them was hand washing. Ironically enough, because of COVID, right? Be prior to COVID, we were already teaching people. I was the hand hygiene police. <laughs> oh. I audited hand hygiene and everything. And now with the pandemic, I don't have to enforce it. People just have to do it. So, <laughs> so that's why I wow. took that picture for my own benefit. <laughs> At the same time, just to show people that Hey, I'm actually, I didn't have to do this. In fact, I had the option not to, but I felt um, in, in my heart of hearts that I, it's, you know, I'm called to, to go back and serve. And so I did. And so that's the story behind that. Yes, that's why you are our heroes. From um, <laughs> liners, nurses, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next, uh, next picture we have, Rebecca. Oh, this one, yeah. Please tell us something oh, about Oh, wow. <laughs> You guys, this is uh, the first one on your left. Is that the left? Is this, uh, I don't know if you know where, where that is. Make a guess first before I tell you. You probably know because you were Las Vegas. on stage. <laughs> yes, this was in Las Vegas. And um, so we do go to Las Vegas quite a bit um, because of my husband. Um, he is, he owns, a, a used to, he's given up given it up lately he owns a comic collectible shop so he goes to vegas a lot he also likes to play so we were there quite a bit but um and also um and the reason and you probably can't tell the reason why we took this picture not just because of the view but because in the one of the billboards if you zo zoom zoom in is bruno horse <laughs> and my daughter right here on my left is my youngest anya she loves Bruno Mars, and so what's the reason? One of the reasons why we go to Vegas because to watch Bruno Mars's concerts, and so she had to stop here to take a picture <laughs> of that billboard. And my husband, behind the scenes, was taking was quite amused of her just wanting to keep taking pictures of Bruno every single angle of Las Vegas. So we took this picture. <laughs> That's that. Wow. And then That's, the other uh, one. That yeah the other one is just a shopping spree with my girls we do that quite a bit um just to take a break like on the weekends after we go to church we we tend to have eat out um somewhere just to spend time with family and we go out and see what's out there so yeah yeah wow that's great how about this one coach Ooh. oh my goodness uh yes uh savers <laughs> this is what is it now I can't remember what day this is, but this is that's one of the savers um the challenges that we have and took a picture of me working out I that's my favorite um savers is e so this is why you usually see me with this with a lot of me working out. oh yes <laughs> that's great uh, thanks mm -hmm. that's why you, we see you always um looking so fit you know <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I find that's the easiest because the rest, actually, I have to work really hard on the rest, but learning every day. Oh, oh, and this is the last one, I think. Yeah. Wow. This one. Oh, man. <laughs> this was when my brothers could still come and hike, but 
<laughs> lately they they're either too busy or have certain things going on in their family coach dave here uh this was taken maybe three years ago i think yeah mm. this is a hike to large um mountain i think i can't remember but um this was a sunshine um hike we did and um yeah i just wanted to take a quick post here the three of us uh you know these people already and this other one was yeah. taken in vancouver uh was it last year two years ago already but this was the um the event that we the company event that we went to and so yeah so you see uh, my brothers are very hard to keep up with them because they're quite <laughs> quite strong and they're high achievers so though they push me become better person in fact so yes i have a follow-up yeah. question coach mm -hmm. are you the next boss free soon <laughs> I'd love to be the next boss freeze soon, for sure, for sure. It's coming, it's coming. It's just really, as you know, it's not an easy decision. There's so many things you have to check off. And one, my kids uh, is really always my priority. And my youngest is still grade nine. And so in my mind, it's still seven more years, seven more years. But I, I got to <laughs> change that mentality. <laughs> But yeah, no, young, this uh, is also grade nine. Yeah, right. So nine, nine plus university, right? So that's seven. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Coach Mao. Now you know a little bit about Coach Dina here. Mm -hmm. Um, but before we proceed to the question and answer portion, we want to acknowledge our viewers. We have Lala Al Mariano from Hawaii. Aloha, ladies. We also have Marites watching from Illinois. Hi, Coach Lina. Hi, Sne. And Carlotta, hello. Mabuhay from Orange, California. Thank you for watching. Yes. yes so, all right. Very global. And, you yeah. know, um, our really goal here is to, just, is, is to share um, that we can do this. As you know, I have a little one here. Sorry, he's, he's just having some afternoon um tantrum so let me just check this off. all right so coach dina sis um you know we are very inspired of you um we would like you to um what you call this share us because i really need this as well now how do you balance family and work because i'm still working full time i'm running the business as well and i have this little one here on my lap mm -hmm. So share us your techniques or anything that you do to balance your family time and work. Yeah. So, yes, it's very tough. I can see that. I can see you now. I see myself in you. And um, truthfully, though, um, it wasn't easy, but uh, it takes a lot of um, a lot of discipline <laughs> in like really scheduling your times. So that's what helped me. Um, I basically you know, set my hours of work for my online business, right? I treated it like another because I had two full time jobs, okay, when I was doing that. And my kids, I've, um, although they're older, right, but they were busy kids, we had, they both were competitive dancers. So we were actually traveling wow. uh, from one end of the city to another. And of course, I have to give my husband props for like always being willing to drive them. But I also was a carpool mom that helped a lot. So it helped me to have a community in helping with um, the drive for dance for sure. And, um, and so between that, my nursing job, I was already working full time though um, at home, but that was one of the goals was to really get out of the bedside because I don't know how I would be even be able to do everything with a bedside job, right? With a, with a shift work. Um, and then, uh, so my goal was to find a job to work from home, which I did when I became full time Monday to Friday at home. And then at the same time, I had another full time job, as you know, I was a mortgage agent, right. And so on my um, evenings off, I uh, usually was every Wednesdays and Saturdays, I was always at uh, financial um, advisors, uh, financial planners, um, offices to train on mortgages. And then on the rest of the week, when I'm not driving my kids in between that, I would be in clients' homes closing deals, mortgage deals, right? 
And so <laughs> it was always running from one place to another. Oh my God. And I'm like, I can't do this anymore. What am I going to do? I have something has to give, right? I'm like, I got to find something. And this is why I had been looking for a way to get out of it. And online distance uh, was, was the way. I was researching many different online businesses. I knew that um, people were making money online. If I could do this online, right, I could stay home for the both jobs and I could just run off whenever my kids needs me, right? And so it took me a while. But as soon as I have done, decided that, okay, I'm going to do the online business. Now that's three jobs, <laughs> right? So how did I do that? I don't know, yes. <laughs> but I did it. But I, the only thing I knew I did different, what well, wasn't even really different, I, I knew I told myself something has to change. That's the first thing. Like, what is your why? I wrote down my why. I don't want to be doing this forever. Something has to change. And if I want, if I want to change that, I have to, I have to take action, right? Whatever it take, whatever it took, I'm going to do it, right? And so, so mindset was really strong that way that, it has to change and I have to do something to change it. And so when I took on the online business, now it's a third job. I'm like, where am I going to, how am I going to fit this in the schedule? Already busy schedule, right? So the first few bit, I actually took some time off work. So I took on vacation hours, right, to get it set up. I had to set it up right away because as you know, who my brother is, <laughs> he's like, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? I'm like, Man, what are you doing? Like, like, <laughs> get off my ass I'm like just slow down okay slow down because I am also working so I'm like okay I gotta take some so I did that I took some time off to just really focus on online business for two weeks and get it set up right once it was set up and I kind of knew what to do now then I set hours of operation right so I'm like okay I'm working from this time to that time so basically I put down nine till midnight right but I actually extended from two in the morning because as you know, once you start something, it, it gets really, you know, you, you just can't let go, right? I got to learn this. I got to learn this. So in the first few months, I was working from 9 to 12 to 2 in the morning. And I put signs in my door. <laughs> Mommy's working. Don't bug me. Do not disturb, <laughs> right? And I actually had one of the first um, challenge I did with um, our team was the DRB. So was the, um, which one was that? Was it the Facebook challenge yeah, yeah. or the go live? I can't remember. Oh, the video challenge, something like that. Right. And one the of YouTube the YouTube star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of the activity was show us, make a video, show us your office, right? My office was literally my my office, this one here, and I have signs, do not disturb. And then the washroom next to it, do not disturb. <laughs> right. Because I just as soon as they actually talk to me, I know I'm not gonna be able to, to focus anymore. Right. So that's what really, truly helped me. Right. So set those time of, of work hours, because if not, then you just can't get anything done. Right. And so um, mm -hmm. but you know what really helped, too, was the pandemic. Right. Because we didn't drive anywhere anymore because we stopped driving. <laughs> the kids still did yeah. dance, but it was online dance. So they were still dancing. But like a section of the house was closed off for them. Right. For that. But even when they were dancing, I still did like, OK, we're done dance at this time. OK, done. Then I'm I'm working from this time to this time. Don't bug me, right? So that's what helped me. Um, but of course, you have to be flexible. If they really truly need you, right? They will. You'll know. Then you'll go to that. But yeah, and we and also dance. I uh, <laughs> I did. With, I, maybe that's why they're dancers because I also love dance growing up. So <laughs> see, yeah, yeah. So I think it's like it's same. Right. So so I think the main thing is really just you know. Being disciplined was one mm -hmm. and really knowing what you want, because if you want it, you'll do it. If you know that's important enough, right, you will do it. Because we're now thinking back, right, like, I don't know how I did it because I'd be up till two in the morning. My husband would be like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? I'm like, no, I'm not like, stop bugging me. Stop bugging me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but but like all like, of us, I used my coffee break, my lunch break, even when I'm working during the day, right, as I work during, for my business, like my online business, right? But truly, it was a blocked off, like, hours of time to just do the business. And until now, I still do it. Not as much anymore because it's already set up, right? But I maybe do two, three hours, not, like, long hours anymore, right? So, 
Yeah. Uh, I think that's how... the one thing that I could really say that helped me. Otherwise, I, not, I, couldn't, I couldn't really do anything, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Power of mindset and setting up time to operate your business. So, yeah, very powerful. Yeah. Coach, um, so what's the one thing you wish you had known when you began your digital business? Hmm. One thing, one thing I wish I've known, um, I wish that <laughs> I knew the online business sooner though, like not this late because things, social media has changed, right? So much that I feel like had I done this two years earlier, that maybe the business would be different then. But at the same time, I know that things happen for a reason. I might not actually have appreciated as much as I did now if I had known it earlier because I wouldn't have done my research because I actually did a lot of research before jumping on board, right? Um, I've, I've seen so many other online businesses and I, I kind of already knew when coming into this one what it took to be to doing an online business. So I wish that I've known it sooner. Uh, at the same time, I wish that um, I've, I've, you know, learned how to be more coachable <laughs> that's another thing <laughs> if your coach says just do a go live hit that button it's so hard to click that button <laughs> yeah <laughs> but just do it it's for your own good and you know what this is the first one that actually really hurts after that you'll get used to it, just like anything right um because although i was coachable i wasn't very much coachable because i have a lot of like not because I doubted the business, but because I doubted myself, yeah. right? I was, I, w I was very, and still now I'm very private and I'm very, still very shy. I don't know if you know, but I am very shy and I'd rather just, I'm an introvert. I'd rather stay home <laughs> if I can. I don't want to go out party. I don't want to get all dressed up and dolled up. I, just, I don't like that. I'd rather just be cozy at home. And so going in front of the camera was hard. And so I wish I just, you know, knew how to get over that fear sooner, right? So was I was it I'm, Coach Dave or Coach Dexter who was co who was coaching you? It was Coach Dave was coaching me. Um, mm -hmm. More like not directly because he he doesn't do it, do it directly to me. I don't know why he did at certain times, but um, it was mostly just. Um, in general, like, you know, when you meet with the coaches and we do stuff, like we say, oh. this is what we should do. I'm like, and, and I put that on myself, like, I should do that. But then like, can I, will I, should I, uh, maybe later, <laughs> you know, we all have that feeling, right? But, but yeah. not, 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 not the actual, that all the other stuff I could do, but just facing the camera was really hard for me. Like even up to now, I still, mm -hmm. you see, I don't do a lot of go lives. I do some videos maybe, but go lives, still very hard for me <laughs> right yeah, i think it is for all of yeah. us mm -hmm. yeah so that's why i think this platform is very very important because then that helps you know helps us all but uh coach yeah. um, you mentioned you've been in the business for like a few years now and in this digital age as you mentioned with the speed and the unlimited reach of the internet um those years would have been very productive already right um, can you share to us like one or two instances that shows how your life has changed now compared to what it was before without the business? Oh, yes. Wow. Um, that's a very good question. My life has changed drastically, right? Um, before the online business um, with my previous jobs, right? I was always constantly going and going and going and going. I felt like I never could rest, right? I was, I felt like I'm always constantly chasing time right? And like going around in circles, going nowhere, right? And so with the online business, I felt more relaxed, right? So before I never really truly had a day off. Although I'm off from my other work, I have another work, right? And even if I'm off from both works, I'm still not off because my mind is consistently thinking about my mortgage deals, right? Because as you know, when you're helping with mortgage deals, especially when you're dealing with realtors, they're always very like they they always very demanding. They want the deals closed now, 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 now. Are you done yet? Are you closing yet? Right. So I'm always so stressed. It was very stressful 
times in my life. And that was 15 years of doing that, right? <laughs> so wow. it was 25 years in nursing now, 15 of that until last year was partly mortgages. And before the mortgages, I was doing two multiple nursing jobs, right? And so um, what's changed mostly for me is now I have control over my time, right? And so I don't really... I don't pick up any shifts anyway to begin with now that I'm working from home, but I don't stress out over my mortgage deals or worrying about I have to go somewhere because, you know, I have to see this client. I have to help them find a specific document, right? None of that. So I have now regained my time. And when I want to take time off, I'm actually truly on time off. As you see, I was on vacation last week. Yes. I, and I, for me, my, my, my time with my family is very important. And so I don't even work on my online business when I'm on vacation. As you've noticed, I didn't post. I scheduled my post. Yes. And so I post all of my vacations after my vacation, mainly for one, for me, because I want to rest. I want to just concentrate on family time. And two, because I've got kids at home. I'm away from home. I don't security reasons. That's the other reason, right? Yes. But truly, it's given me the time freedom. Right. And so, of course, comes with that is financial peace. Right. And so I don't have to worry about, oh, my God, I have to close a deal because my online business is running mm -hmm. the background. Yeah. Right. So it's still mm -hmm. running while I'm enjoying and doing the stuff that matters most. And so, yes, how, how has that changed? It's really, truly the time freedom. I'm now able to enjoy the time with my family. I'm really there. I'm focused now. I'm there. I'm present. Right. Because before I'm there physically, but mentally, I'm not there. If you ask me, my kids ask me a question, I'm like instantaneously, easily like irritated, right? Yeah. And I'm always like, always, you can feel that I'm always so stressed. But at now, like, I don't even care. Like, you know, my kids, my kids can screw up and I'm still quite relaxed. Like, and even before, like, I always fight with my older kid, my, my two year, my second year university um, daughter now. Yeah. There was a point in my life where I'm always like, arguing with her over what to take for university. And then when I came to the online business, my mindset just changed, right? I'm like, I'm more open-minded, I'm more relaxed, right? I don't worry about what she takes because no matter what, financially, I'll be able to support her at the same time. I want her to do something that she truly enjoys. So it's not just the, uh, really the time, the finances. It's my mind has opened up um, a lot of peace of mind, um, a lot of like personal development has happened. I've changed me in the process, right? It's not the same me anymore. Looking back five years ago, man, I was so easily irritated. I keep fighting with my husband and my kids, right? <laughs> over things. It's not even about money, but over the fact that I'm always so consistently so busy and stressed. Yeah. Right? So like, it truly is a blessing. So I can't stress that enough. It's changed my life so much. And I've gained so many friends like you guys. I just go to, like, I went to um to Orlando. I met up with Tina. Like, oh, how good? Like, come on, right? So this is so good. It's so fun. So, yeah. I think, it, um, like, if you travel anywhere, you will meet a business owner. Because, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, well, I would like to acknowledge some of our view viewers here. We have Roblin Burnett watching from Minnesota, USA. And she said, yeah, wow, well, I can't do no disturb with my skeptical husband. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what, though? I, my husband was skeptical, too, in the, in the, in the beginning, right? Um, we have to talk about that another time. But, yeah, it was actually, <laughs> oh. yeah, it wasn't easy times. And, um, um he basically ended up being, you know what, it's just um, agree to disagree. You love each other, you have to respect each other, right? It's just yeah. like having, yeah. this is my work, that's your work. Yeah. No difference, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. so, yeah. All right. And yeah, mm -hmm. Noche from um, Australia. Yeah. Thank you. Also have, we have also mm -hmm. have um, Saver Sister here watching from Texas, Daphne. And we have Amelia. Good evening to you, ladies watching from Toronto. Wow, we are very global. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of you for those who are watching us live and who will catch us on the replay. Thank you so much. So just drop in where you are coming from. We would love to connect with you later on. And if you have questions, we are so happy to um, receive them. All right, coach. So um, what do you wish everybody would understand about your job or profession as um as an online business coach uh what do i wish they'd understand um that it truly is just 
another online business, right? It's, it's a legitimate business. We know there's a lot of skeptical people out there. It's always have a, a different connotation, right? Because it's online. People don't know if it's real or it's not real. Well, we've been here now for really seriously quite se seven years for the dream team. But at the same time, when you look at the online business industry itself, been here for a long time. Like yeah. it's just, we're just one of those, right? Of those online businesses. And it's, it is, it is legitimate. Um, and, you know, we really don't need to worry about proving ourselves because it has a proven track already. And that um, it's just another business. So, and again, it's, it's not for everybody, right? Um, it's not, it's not, it's not hard or shall I say, it's, it's not, it's easy. It's not easy, but it's simple. Okay. <laughs> the only reason why it's hard is because you actually have to do the work. Again, it's a business. It's not a get rich quick scheme. Right. And so it's not something where you think you do want to join and all of a sudden you make money tomorrow. No, it's a business. You have to put in the work, have to put in your resources, you put, put in your time, right. For it to grow. Right. And so, yeah, so that's it. it. It is just another business and it's for, it is an opportunity for everybody, but it definitely is not for everyone. So, and that's why, you know, we do those coaching calls to, to see if it's a fit for you, if you're a fit for us, right? Because, and that's the other beauty of the online business is that we actually have that opportunity to get to know the people that we want to invite into the business. And if you feel like it's not for them, we don't force them or we don't even we don't even advise that they get into it if it's not for them. Right? Yes, yes. That's why uh, we have a very powerful presentation that they can get more information if this is perfect fit for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Great. Wow. Yeah. So see, there you have it, guys. You heard it straight from Coach Dina. Um, sadly, before we wrap up today's um, session i just want to take a moment to give a huge thanks to coach dina we are so grateful for your time and your expertise your sharing your story with us and we know that our viewers have also learned so much from you um, as you all know our mission is all about empowering and educating people about the online business and we hope that today's discussion has helped you feel inspired and motivated to take on whatever challenges come your way so if you're ready to take on the next step, start crushing it in your online business, check out our websites. We've got your back every step of the way. And Coach Lina, do you have some last words for our viewers? Uh, yes, for sure. Just um, that you guys, for everyone that's watching that are already in the business to never really, really give up. Like the, there's really no way but up here in this business, right? There's no reason for you to fail here, everyone, we have a path to success here. So, and again, this is a career path. You look at it as a career path. Mm -hmm. So if you are, you know, in this already and you decided you're gonna do it, continue to do it, right? Do not, never ever give up. It's just like any career, like I'm a nurse, Rebecca works in the medical industry as well. And me, I think, I can't remember what you do, but <laughs> all of us, I have certain careers, right? And how did we get to here? How do I become a nurse? I studied for four years, right? I didn't give up. Had I given up, I wouldn't be a nurse. I'd be a dropout nurse. So don't be a dropout online business entrepreneur, okay? You're just getting started. You will get there. It's just a matter of time. So that training site that you have really is your theory. That's your curriculum. The Zoom meetings are, are training sessions, are your classroom sessions, right? And then once you keep doing that, the practice of doing so gets you the results. That's just how it is. It is a business, a career path, right? So if you quit, you dropped out, you're done, right? So if you don't quit, you don't drop out, you will eventually see results, right? Just like I graduated nursing, you will graduate an online entrepreneur, this is entrepreneur, then you'll see the reap the, the benefits of the fruits of your hard work, hard labor, right? So Look at it that way. Don't treat it like a hobby, right? Treat it like a business, a career path. It's This is your job now. This is what you got to do every day. So set those daily standards. 
or daily methods of operation. What is it that will generate you those results, right? What are the activities you have to do every single day that will generate results? Write it down, set your times, do it, right? And so, because if you give up, then that's it. But again, why would you do that when you're already here? It's right there. I can touch and feel and smell and taste it, right? You can see it all over. And if they can do it, I can do it. You can too. I was like, I was so busy <laughs> and I'm still here, right? And I'm learning every day. I'm not perfect. No one is. We learn every day. And the good thing is that we have each other support, right? So you can do it too. We will do it together. Thank you, Coach. I have last message here from Carlotta. Working long hours in my nursing job is so exhausting, but working longer hours in my online business gives me a very rewarding feeling. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much to all who join us today. And um, thank you for your insightful, this insightful interview and a highly accomplished nurse, a business coach. We hope that you were able to gain valuable insights and inspiration from her personal journey and her expertise in the business. Coach Dina's experiences and advice serve us um, reminder that with hard work, dedication, and strong support system, anything is possible. She mentioned earlier mindset and um, what you call this mindset and prioritizing, setting up boundaries on your times. Her success is a testament to power, to the power of persistence and the importance of setting and achieving one's goals. So we would like to express our sincere gratitude to Coach Dina for taking the time to share her, um, her wisdom and knowledge with us today. Her passion for helping others achieve their goals is truly inspiring. And we are honored to have had and the opportunity to learn from her. So again, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. And we hope that you will continue to follow and support Coach Dina in her future endeavors. And you know what, guys? Um, I am really excited because, you know, um, Coach Dina, I mentioned earlier, she was my savior, savior sister. And now we are here. I We presented her story. It's been, it's on our checklist that we really would love her um, on our show. So again, thank you so much, Coach Dina. Thank you, Sis May, for, for this another inspiring interview thank you guys thanks everyone take thank care